chainsaw. That would make my life so much easier. Okay, <laughs> yep. <sighs> oh, hi! Welcome back to Isle of Wolves 3 in the ubiquitous game Unturned. And today, I'm going to methodically kill all the zombies in the immediate area and attempt to liberate a vehicle from this street. There is some kind of car back there that I think will be operational. And if not, that blue car over here that I'm about to show you should be scarcely operational. As you can see, it's smoking pretty bad, but it might get us home. Or at least to somewhere we can find a blowtorch. Jeez, they're faster than I remember. Or maybe I'm just slower. So once we kill enough of these, we don't have to worry about them chasing me down again as soon as I start the car and mauling the car and me to make it a whole lot of problems that don't need to be made. Okay, here we are behind the post office. There are two decorative vehicles. <laughs> so that's not going to work out for us and uh, scarcely any better. If we jump over here, you can see that blue one. But it's going to have to do. I just hope that I have killed enough zombies. Ooh, I see him. To um, make it so we can slither out of here unnoticed. Because if this takes any more damage, we're done. 3% health. Only 10% gas. It's not even going to get us far. <sighs> but we're going to do what we can. Oh, my God. All right. No time like the present. Let's back it up. Back it up. Okay. Back it into a wall, I guess. Go! Do I even know the controls for a car anymore? Obviously not. Okay, slither this away. It's on fire. <laughs> it's on fire, guys. It's on fire. And it blew up. And I looked at the explosion! Ugh, I'm such not a cool guy. So, update. We're walking home. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, I like a good walk anyway. It's good for you. Well, if I, if I come this away, I'm actually not that far out from Alpha City. You remember all the fun we had there? And we acquired at the hospital there my all-time favorite vehicle, which was the ambulance. Although I did eventually get that cool race car. That actually might have been better. But nonetheless, I do have fond, fond memories of that ambulance, so... We're practically already here. There it is on the horizon. Let's go look. All right. We're coming up on the hospital. We're going to have our first Alpha City zombie kill. Oh, there is an ambulance there. Do you see it? Do you see it? I want to run to it, but there's so many zombies. Come on, come on, come on. Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. It doesn't have really any gas in it. I don't know if that's going to get us home, but there is a gas can at home. I'm pretty sure I didn't bring one with me, did I? No, I sure didn't. Uh, home? Okay. What is the best route from Alpha City to home? Because if we come across this bridge and take a right, I guess we can go across another bridge, and that actually gets us pretty darn close over here near the oil rig where we need to be. That might be the way to go. Hopefully, I won't bang it up as badly. <gasps> oh, God, am I going to flip it already? Oh, man, I shouldn't be allowed to drive. <gasps> hey, look, we made it. 4% gas left, or 3, or I'm sure 2 by the time we get it stopped. And it's raining. Our rain barrels will fill up. That's a good sign. Maybe everything's going to be okay. Maybe this is the vehicle I was meant to have. Oh, oh, I'm so happy it's here. I'm so happy it's here. Okay. We, you definitely need to work on the gas situation. Now, let's see. Where did I hide that? Hopefully, I didn't lose it. It's somewhat likely that somewhere over here is a fuel tank. They're pretty common at farms. Um, I don't specifically see one, but I bet if I shop around, I'll find it. You know what? I think this farm actually does not have said facility. We're going to have to do a little walking if we want to fuel up. That's okay. All right, here we are at Lucky St. Patrick's Farm. As you can see, we're going to be in a lot more luck here because there's definitely gas. There's a little bit of danger, but I ain't scared. All right, finally. So we have an ambulance. We have gas. 
But one thing we don't have is an answer to what is on the rest of this oil rig. So before we move on and start getting really knee deep in exploring other parts of the map, I figured we kind of had to come back over here and figure out what's what. At least give it one more attempt before we move on. Ooh, Zubekanov. See, this was already worthwhile, and I still haven't upgraded my parkour skill, huh? Gosh, I hope I can make the jump. <laughs> you remember this jump? I hope I don't jump into the arms of zombies. Okay, let's make sure that we wait for stamina. Oh, gosh, they're already angry. Do you hear them just chomping at the bit to eat me? Okay, jump! Yeah! Okay, now for the hard part. I say we cut this away so as to get closer to the area we have not yet explored. And I already see some ammo. That's kind of cool. So let's fish that out of the swamp here. Oh, a chainsaw. That would make my life so much easier. Oh, okay, yep. Oh. Okay, I'm a little rattled, but I'm fine. Let's keep going. Well, we finally made it over here to this little blue building. Surrounded by evil, hungry zombies. And uh, what do we got? Pills, binoculars, ranger muzzles. Okay, okay. Is this like a theater room? This is cool. Blacklava. Crowbar. Uh, not really seeing anything I really, really wanted yet. But don't worry, there's still more to explore. Let's go up here to the upstairs. And they've got to have something good hidden up here other than extra biohazard hoods. Katana is always good, even though I already have one. What's up there then? Can I carefully fall out of this window? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, just zombies. Just zombies and a crashed helicopter with some barbed wire. Wow, cool. Very cool. Um, oh, military vest. Yay. Probably in better shape than my police vest. Maybe not. I don't know. It just seems cooler though, so I'm gonna wear it. And uh, commence the killing. Oh, I hope there's something good up here. Viper. All right. Oh, I'm I'm starting not to feel that good. These zombies up here are incredibly strong. I think they might hit a little harder than your run-of-the-mill zombies. It's a helicopter pad over here, which is exciting, except that there's, you know, no helicopter on it. But imagine if we had one, how easily we could come up here and fuel it. That's kind of cool. And, of course, got to take a sec to scope out the view, which is incredible. All right, let's move on to what I guess is like the uppermost part of the rig up here. A uh, bunch of giant crates. Uh-oh, that guy's on fire. So we might need to... There we go. All right, did he drop anything of interest? <sighs> Nothing at all. Oh, he has friends. He has bitey, slithery, snake-like friends. It's in the office here. Just pills. Viper mag. Scope. Oh, come on. Ooh, gas can. I can always use an extra gas can. If we collect enough of these, it is possible that we can make a super gas can and carry even more gas around so that we don't have to always stop and fuel up the ambulance every 20 feet. Well, I guess that's about the extent of it. There's another helipad over there, but it doesn't look like it really has anything for which to go over there for. So I guess the only thing left to do is to just swim to this round island just so we can say we did. Splash. Looks like there's really not much over here but delicious berry bushes, which is not nothing. <laughs> I've been to worse islands, I guess. But yeah, this would be... Oh, what's that? Is that on the map? It's not. It's a secret boat. Okay, well, I thought this was our final destination for the day, but there's secret boats out here. We kind of got to, right? Ah, uh, alas, they are beyond the border here. So they are 
tempting decorations. Oh, I want to explore them so bad, but it's not meant to be. So I guess that's where our adventure ends just for the day. So join me next time and we'll go somewhere cool. I've never been to Snow Cloak Town and uh, haven't been to Birch Beach in a while. Maybe we could try to learn to fish there again. And one place I've been really interested in going to is the Scorpion 7 base, obviously. And everyone knows that I love Eagle Raceway. So any one or all of those are definitely on the list. So join me next time. I'll see you then.